Hey everyone, I'm Matt from Chaparral Motorsports and today we're going to run through four of our favorite CD Gore-Tex touring boots. Let's go ahead and check this out. So here on the table, I have four of my all-time favorite CD Gore-Tex boots. Now, they may look very similar in features right now, but once we get more into the features and kind of differentiate the boots, you're going to know which boots are going to work for you and the type of riding that you'll be doing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the similarities first and kind of knock that out of the way. We're going to talk about the main material of the boots that really make up the main construction, and that's Techno Micro. This is CD's synthetic leather, so it requires less maintenance than real leather does, and it also will hold up longer over time. Now, you're also going to notice a lot of similarities in the toe boxes of all of these boots. Very similar in shape, you also have the same soles. This is a stitched on non-slip sole that is lugged. This not only will give you great traction on your motorcycle's foot pegs, but it's gonna give you great traction for walking around off the bike. And all of these are pretty much the same amount of stiffness, so they are gonna be comfortable once they break in. They also don't use a steel shank. Now, we're gonna start this off to my right with the all-road boot from CD. Again, it is Gore-Tex, and the way Gore-Tex works, it's a membrane that will allow the sweat to evaporate through the actual material, but it will block out any water or any elements from making its way into the boot. So that's a great feature that these have. The special thing about the all-road boot is that it uses two different materials, that Techno Micro and also Cordura, which is a textile fabric. With that said, you're still going to maintain all of the abrasion resistance that you're looking for in a boot such as this because of that fabric is so strong. Now, another feature that I did like about the All Road is the way that it actually straps up. The bottom straps have these little teeth, these grooves on the inside. This is going to ensure that your straps stay in place while you're going down the road on your trip. And then up top, you have a very large patch of Velcro. This is really going to give you a nice seal against your leg, again, protecting you and keeping the elements out of the boot. Now, another thing that I did want to mention before I move on is the interior liners use the same materials as well. You have a camber liner. It's very soft. It is moisture wicking and antimicrobial, which is going to be great for longer periods of time on the motorcycle. One last thing about the all road boot is that this is a great option for those of you that just have sweatier feet in general because of that breathability factor and also for those of you that are deciding to ride through hotter times of the year again because of how breathable this boot will be. Moving on to the CD Tour. Now this is a great classic boot. It has a simple approach and it'll get the job done. What we have here, again, that waterproof ability with the Gore-Tex membrane. You have that nice deep lug sole for off the bike traction. And the tops of the toe box are also textured for even more grip. Of course, the left side is textured as well for more grip on the shifter. And that's especially nice if you are riding through the rain. Now, speaking of that, let's go ahead and take a look at the closure system because here's a few features that I did like. On the inside portion, you have this expansion here. This is nice for those of you that have larger legs or larger calves and need a little bit more assistance getting the boot around your leg to get a nice tight seal, or if you just need help in general. Also, what you will find is that you have a combination of Velcro and a half zipper. This is gonna make it nice and easy to get the boot on and off. And what's also great about it is that you do have a full length gaiter to ensure that the water stays out of the boot. Now, if we take a look at the other side here, if you decide that you wanna tuck your pants into the boot itself, you have even more reflective material on the outside portion and across the Achilles. That just gives you a little bit more rider nighttime safety. And of course, this is a pretty tall boot, so you're gonna get a lot of protection as far as the elements go with this as well. Now, as you can see, we're making our way towards the other end of the table. And now we're gonna talk about the CD Canyon boot. This is one of my favorites because of the styling. This has such a nice clean style that you can wear this boot with different types of motorcycles. You can wear it with cruisers or a different type of V-twin, sport touring bikes, and what's great about it is that you do have this latching system. Very simple to use. You open it up just like that. And then to ratchet it down, all you do is tighten it up. That's gonna be a nice custom feature that you get with the Canyon. Also, this has the most amount of Velcro out of all of these boots here on the table. That's gonna make gearing up a very simple process and a very simple task to do. Now, if we spin the boot around, you can see how that single strap goes across the top of the foot. That's really gonna give you a nice tight fit. And again, you have that deep lug sole for off the bike traction and on the bike as well. You also do have a bit of medial ankle protection with this plate in here also. 
You do get a camber lining in here, so again, that is moisture wicking and also antimicrobial. Now for our last boot, if you're looking for a boot that has a little bit more protection in the way of hard parts, say you're going off the road a little bit more and you're looking for that added safety, this is going to be a great option for you. This is the CD Armada boot. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. You have larger ankle protectors on both the outside and inside of the boot. You also have a little bit more on the side of the foot, right about at the base. So you're going to get more protection in that sense. Also, the heel cup is even more reinforced with more of that hard material on the outside to give you great rear protection. The toe box is reinforced as well, and you do have the textured toe boxes for even more grip with your controls. Now the inside, very simple, just like the rest of the boots, the camber liner, again, is moisture wicking and antimicrobial. However, what I did like about this one is that you have a huge area of elastic material. This is going to be very simple and easy to get your boots on, and it's also going to be a little bit more comfortable when you're in more of an aggressive position, because you're not going to have any material biting at the backs of your legs. The inside portion where the entry is to the boot is very nice. You have a full length zipper, so you're really able to open this boot up and get your foot in even easier. Again, you have that lug sole just like the rest of the boots here on the table, and that's really going to be the biggest difference between the rest of them that we've seen here today. So if you would like more information on any one of these boots, head to our site, shapmoto.com, read more features about them. We just wanted to pull out the main differences to help you with your buying decision if you're looking for a great touring boot. Now again, CD is at the top of the list, so these are top-notch, top-quality boots. So there you have it. That was just a few of our favorite CD Gore-Tex boots. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We'll see you next time.